Kia ora. Taking a look at the satellite picture across New Zealand, you can see there's plenty of clear sky down that western coast of the South Island and across many parts on the western side of the North Island. A touch more cloud though, pushing through towards the eastern side. If we take a bit of a step back and look up towards the tropics, you can see we've still got a fair amount of activity happening through there. Out towards the east, we've got what's left of tropical cyclone Nat and Osai. They're moving away down towards the south and the east. And we're keeping a very close eye on this area of cloud you can see out towards Vanuatu. That may well develop into a tropical system over the next day or so. So well worth keeping up to date with the watches and warnings from those local, for your local Met centres up towards places like Vanuatu and New Caledonia. Heading back down towards New Zealand, well, things are looking at pretty settled across the South Island through the rest of Friday. For the North Island, we would be watching out for a few showers springing up through parts of Waikato and Waitomo, perhaps even in towards those inland parts of Whanganui as well. Some of those are fairly heavy and perhaps even the odd rumble of thunder. As we head through in towards the night, you can see high pressure keeps plenty of dry weather across the south side. We'll have these showers though, springing up through the southern parts of Taranaki, across towards Whanganui, and even in towards the southern parts of Hawke's Bay and northern parts of Wairapa through the night time tonight. A real contrast in our temperatures as well. But you can see down south, that next feature, that's something to watch out for as we head on into Saturday. Now, in terms of our temperatures, the cooler air is going to be down south. We'll find our temperatures down to around about 8 or 9 degrees Celsius through the southern parts of Canterbury and down towards Otago. While up north, we're still looking at our nighttime temperatures in places like Northland and Auckland of around about 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. As we go through in towards Saturday, it's a real mess of a story across the North Island. Some showers and thunderstorms springing up pretty quickly and that sweep in front moving northwards up the south and will be bringing some heavy rain and some really strong gusty southwesterly winds and some cooler air back across the country. So it is a rather messy looking at Saturday for many of us but I think for the North Island it's a case of seeing the best of the weather places like Hawke's Bay at least in northern parts and Tarafti through the start of the day. We'll have a bit more in the way of cloud and some showery weather down from Taranaki across towards Wairapa that'll break up and clear but you can see we find more showers springing up as we head in towards the afternoon on Saturday, especially for places like Waikato, those more inland areas, down through the Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, and in towards places like the Central Plateau. Some of those could be fairly heavy, perhaps even thundery as we go, for a time, as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. So well worth keeping an eye on the forecast charts there. As we head in towards the, the end of the day, we'll start to find the winds just turn a touch more southerly in towards places like Wellington, and some showers arriving in the capital later on. It still could be a fairly warm looking day though. Daytime temperatures in places like Napier and Kisburn back to highs around about 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Not far adrift from what we'll see in Auckland. Highs here around about 26 degrees Celsius. While down in Wellington we're looking at a cooler day with 21 degrees Celsius. But really starting to see some of those cooler temperatures sneaking in towards those more southern parts of the uh, North Island by the end of the night. For the South Island, the best of the weather, places like Nelson, Marlborough and down through Canterbury. You can see though, this front makes its way northwards up in towards the likes of Dunedin by the middle part of the day and then runs across in towards Canterbury and Westland as we head through the afternoon. Some heavy falls not out of the question and those cha that change to stronger southwesterly winds will be pushing through some showers in towards Southland and Otago through the afternoon along with some much cooler air. So we are going to find a real change as we head through the daytime. In terms of our top temperatures, look at this contrast across the South Island. Places like Invercargill, where we'll find that cold air with you pretty much from the word go, and those southwesterly winds, top temperatures of just 15 degrees Celsius. While up in Blenheim, with that uh, warmer air over you through most of the day and generally staying dry for much of the time as well, we'll find our daytime temperatures nudging up to around about 29 degrees Celsius, perhaps even 30 in the best of the sunshine. The biggest change I think for many of us will be that change to cooler air overnight Saturday into Sunday with our nighttime temperatures even back down to about 2 degrees Celsius for Mount Cook. Even though we are going to see some cooler temperatures as we head through the weekend, we have still got some fairly large fire risks across parts of New Zealand. Extreme risks up across those scrublands in the far northern parts of New Zealand. But you'll notice we've got moderate risks of fires, even towards places like Auckland as well, and even more extreme risks down towards those southern parts of Wairapa. Heading down towards the south end, you can see that risk is particularly high 
as a patchwork of fire risks across that more eastern side of the country. Extreme risks in places like the Mackenzie country, through parts of the Canterbury High Country, and even those inland areas of Marlborough. So it's incredibly important to keep an eye on those conditions through the weekend. Check it's all right before you start any fires and, uh, and be aware of that for all your outdoor activities. As we head on in towards Sunday, we will find it is a bit of a, a, a improving story. We'll start off with that southwesterly wind across. There's still rather blustery for a time around the likes of Banks Peninsula, Wellington, and around that eastern coast, but you know, a few showers there. But as high pressure builds over us through the daytime, for many of us, Sunday is actually shaping up to be a pretty decent day. Plenty of clear sky and brightness, especially away from that eastern coast. And then as we go in towards next week, this high pressure is set to stay with us. So actually, we'll find for most of next week, things are looking pretty dry and fairly settled as well. That's it from me. There's more at metservice.com.